How do you feel about style rules? I mean, really, they're super annoying, aren't they? They're annoying even for me, and this is what I do. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the only five style rules that I follow, which I think are gonna surprise you. Hi ladies, it's Erin, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about the super annoying, super triggering style rules. Dun, dun, dun. Except, I'm taking a different approach. I've talked about this in previous videos before, but I don't really believe in style rules. I really believe that you can wear whatever you want as long as you wear it with confidence and joy. That is the overall number one tried and true style rule that all of us should follow. These are the five general rules that I follow in the style department that I think can serve all of us and something to keep in the back of your mind, a tool to have in your style toolbox, as I like to say. But again, what's the number one thing? How do I feel when I'm wearing it? How confident do I feel when I'm wearing it? And then if the answer is I feel very confident and I love it, then you wear it. Style rule number one that I like to follow, fit is key. Fit is key. I don't like to wear clothes that are ill-fitting. There are a couple of markers that you can look out for on your upper body to know that a garment is fitting you properly. If you look and your shoulder seam is past your shoulder here on your arm, chances are the sleeves are too long as well, but that means the seam is in the wrong place for your shoulders. The shoulder seam really needs to be on the shoulder. So that's a big tell with blazers, with sweaters. Now there are some exceptions, a drop shoulder sweater, for example, would be an exception, but in general, that's a great way to know if something is fitting you properly. And then you could look at your sleeve too, and if the sleeve, it should generally fall between your thumb joint, the second one, not the first one, and your wrist bone, so right here. But if you notice the sleeves are too long, it's probably because your shoulder seam is out of whack. So if you take something to the tailor, just say, hey, can you move the shoulder seam up? And then it can be perfect for you. The other thing is the fit of your pants or trousers. If you're wearing something that's not tapered or ankle length, so let's say you have a full length wide leg pair of jeans on or a wide leg pair of pants like my Spanx pants or my mother jeans, um, or my mother boot cut jeans, these should be one half to three quarters of an inch off the ground and it may not require tailoring, it may just require that you switch out your shoes. I think that if you find a pair of jeans that you love, you buy two pair and maybe you tailor one and don't tailor the other. So one for heels, one for flats. But fit is really key in terms of making garments look polished, sophisticated, elevated, beautiful, feminine, luxurious, expensive, all the things that we want them to, to look and be. Another thing to think about with fit is we go through you know cycles, right? So right now I'm in a cycle where I have gained a lot of weight, a lot for me, like 10% of my body weight, which I've talked about before, I lost it before, and now I'm back to where I started, pretty much. <laughs> but a lot of it is because I just haven't been able to maintain the discipline while traveling and, and being in a different country. What I could do is wear pants and jeans that feel like, <laughs> way too tight for me and then I've got stuff spilling over the sides and then I'm uncomfortable. Or I could recognize this is where my body is right now and I could buy one extra pair of jeans that I can put on and I can feel much better in, much more comfortable. They look sleeker, they make me look smaller because a lot of the time, I don't think most people think about, especially women, who get caught up in the number. Like what is the size? What size am I? I'm a 26. Mm. But sometimes when you wear sizes that are too small, it actually makes you look bigger. So if you go up one size, it can make you look smaller and it looks more elegant. Almost when in doubt, I would size up. So I just wanted to remind you about that because I know there's this, this tendency, even for me, like to get caught up in the number like, I'm not gonna buy 27 jeans. I do talk like this. <laughs> I am a robot. I don't know what that is, sorry. I try to remind myself it's not about the number, it's just about where my body is right now and I'm accepting of that and I know that I'll get back to wherever it is that I wanna get, but right now this is where I am and in order for me to look my best, I need to have that fluidity and that polish in my garments and the way that they hang and the way that they fall. That means wearing the right size for my body right now. So to recap, we wanna make sure our shoulder seam is on the shoulder, make sure our sleeves or blazer sleeves, sweater sleeves are between that knuckle joint on your thumb and your wrist bone. We wanna make sure your pants, your trousers, the boot cut, straight, wide leg, and flared are one half to three quarters of the inch off the ground for maximum length. 
okay, when you wanna look as long and tall as possible, that is the optimal length. You're gonna think, ah, oh, it's too long. It's not, it's not too long. Okay, if you want more tips to look longer and taller, by the way, I did a video for petite women specifically. I'm 5'4", so that is technically petite, although on the very high end of petite. So you should watch that video after you watch this one. We'll put a link to it in the description box and up here in the cards. The second one for me personally is that I show skin strategically. This has just been a rule for me as far back as I can remember. I have never been the person that let it all hang out. Are there exceptions? Sure, like maybe you're in Vegas with the girls and you're gonna let it all hang out. Your bachelor party weekend or it's date night and you wanna be sexy for your husband or your, your partner, whatever. There are exceptions, but I'm saying in general, day in and day out, just the more elegant, classy approach is to show one area of skin and keep the rest covered. It's so simple to do. All it means is that if you're gonna show a lot of chest cleavage, then you keep arms and legs covered. If you're gonna show a lot of leg and do a mini skirt or mini dress, keep your arms and chest covered. If you're gonna do a halter neck dress and show off your toned arms, keep your chest and your legs covered. That's all it means. But I love that one because it really does work to keep you as beautiful and feminine and polished as possible. And it's so easy to do. And also it leaves some mystery. One thing I've been inspired by European women, but especially having lived here for six months, I see that they understand and appreciate elegance and class. They're not over the top anything. They're not over the top with their nails. They're not over the top with the, with the makeup. They're not over the top with the hair. They're not over the top with clothes. Everything is elegant. This is your fail safe rule if you want to look classy and elegant. The third rule, or if you wanna call it that, maybe we should call it a guideline. The third guideline is to beware the bargain trap. This one's a struggle for me too. I love me a bargain. It used to be my total jam to go into Saks Off Fifth or an outlet store and I'd find like diamond in the rough and I'd find the best price and I'd end up buying all these things and then think, oh, I scored, this is so awesome. And then those pieces never got worn. I mean, there may be cases where you do have this beautiful piece that you love and you find it for a great price and then you wear it all the time. But in a lot of cases you don't, you get sucked into the bargain trap. And uh, I just don't want you to go there. Like I have many, many, many times in the past. So what I often like to do is I'll find pieces that I love full price and then I wait for them to go on sale and then buy them. And then that way I know I really love this piece. I've sat with it for a while thinking about it. And then once it's on sale, I'm like, okay, I saw it, I picked it out when it was full price. I waited, I thought about it, and now I'm gonna buy it because I love it. I know I love it. It's been a certain amount of time that I've sat with it and thought about it. And so now I feel good about going ahead and making this purchase. It's a smart strategic purchase. And you can also make these purchases based on your shopping list, which I've talked about in my style reboot series where I talk about kind of all of the steps you need to take in order to get your style back on track. One of the things I talk about is your style shopping list and a big part of that list are your wardrobe basics, which we do give out for free when you sign up for the newsletter in every single description box. Buy things strategically that you need from your basic shopping lists or things that you have had your eye on for a while that you know you want and love. Don't fall into the, <whistles> the bargain vortex. My fourth guideline, if I don't feel comfortable in it, I don't wear it, period. And sometimes you feel comfortable wearing something. It could be the same thing another day, but for whatever reason, you don't feel comfortable wearing it that day. I could be on a trip with a finite amount of clothes and sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna wear this, this, and this. And then that day, for whatever reason, I'm like, I don't feel comfortable wearing that, so I will mix it up because I want to leave wherever it is, apartment, house, hotel, feeling like a million bucks, feeling like my best and feeling confident. So if I'm not feeling comfortable in whatever that is, I will change. Honestly, like if I've been traveling, I will wear the same thing a couple of days in a row, I don't care, if it means I'm comfortable. By comfort, I don't just mean like what feels soft on your skin and what feels the most comfortable on your body, I mean what you feel confident wearing, what you feel like looks awesome on you. That's part of the puzzle, okay? It's not just utilitarian, otherwise we'd wear workout clothes everywhere, which by the way, no one wears in Madrid, no one. So I love it here that they don't wear them because it really pushes me to get dressed each and every day. So that could be a really fun, cool challenge for you guys, something to think about. My, my final rule or guideline or whatever you wanna call it, and I think this is my favorite, I will wear 
whatever I want at any age. Who's with me? This has taken a long time to kind of wrap my head around this one. I feel like when I first had kids and I was going, you know, full mommy mode, I felt so uncomfortable wearing certain things. Now that I'm a little older, the kids are older, I don't care. Like if something makes me happy, I'm gonna wear it. Case in point, I bought a tulle skirt here in Madrid. It's from a shop called Twin Set. It's a, an Italian designer. I looked at it in the window for two weeks. Looked at it, looked at it, looked at it, didn't buy it. Finally, I was like, I'm buying it, I love it. I didn't even try it on. I just went in, I bought it. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, how am I gonna wear this? I don't even know how I'm gonna wear it. But I'm like, I'm wearing it, I don't care. Well, guess what? I've styled it like five different ways. Like I've styled it with this dress underneath, which I thought was genius. I extended the hemline of a mini dress with it. I wore it with my Bellman blazer. I've worn it with an off the shoulder sweater. So I've worn it a bunch. And then I took it a step further. You're like, hmm, I can keep pushing, right? That's another good kind of rule to go by. Like keep pushing yourself, right? Growth is good, evolution is good. So I bought two tool dresses from a store in New York that shipped here called Kiki Riki. I wore both the red one and the blush one for a photo shoot in front of the Royal Palace here in Madrid, which was amazing and dreamy and I loved it. Then I wore the blush dress in Sevilla in the Royal Suite at the Hotel Alfonso Trece, which is one of the most beautiful hotels I have ever stayed in my entire life stunning and I felt like a literal queen wearing the dress and then I cut the red one off and Elizabeth and I wore the dresses to the opera at Teatro Real here in Madrid and had one of the most special mother-daughter evenings I think we've ever had. I posted a video of that on Instagram. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see it but I just I love that video so much. It just really encapsulates the joy of the evening and the moment and just how much fun we had. So I wanted to share those examples with you because I think it's important that you really think about what it is you want to wear, what makes you happy. And yes, some days you're just like, I want to wear sweatpants and that makes me happy. But I challenge you to push yourself in wearing whatever that dream outfit is that really does make you feel special. And I talked about this in a separate video of how to figure that out, which we will put a link to below and you can watch it after this one. But I think it's really important to push yourself. I think it's really important to buy the thing that you love that you're a little scared of because that promotes your growth. It helps you to step outside the box. You can watch the magic unfold. Like I don't even remember where I got the idea for the opera, but it was around the dresses. The dresses inspired the hotel in Sevilla. The dresses inspired the photo shoot in front of the Royal Palace. The dresses inspired the opera. So that's why I want you to kind of push yourself that way and see what happens when you do pick up that, that kind of risky piece for yourself or that risky outfit or that risky dress. So to recap, the only style rules I follow at any age, fit is everything. I don't wear ill-fitting clothes. Showing skin strategically, I think that really keeps things classy and elegant. Beware the bargain trap. We all fall into it, but try not to. I must feel comfortable and confident, and I'll wear whatever I want. That's my favorite. Which one's your favorite? Please share in the comments. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I hope you will subscribe and maybe share my video or my channel over on your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. I will see you next time. Bye.